Well, I finally got around to it, and uh, well, this is uh, this has been a while. Uh, I meant to get this knife on my channel for quite a while now, and just hadn't got to it, and I should have. But what's a good one? It's the TS248 Titanium, and I don't have a name. But Max did it. You can see the designer name here. And I'll give you a link to his Instagram. And then I'll give you all the normal links to, to uh, Tucson, the sellers on eBay. And that's where I get mine. And yeah, they have a seller on Amazon. So check him out as well. And then they got the AliExpress store, the Tucson. It's not T-W-O. It's just T-W-S-U-N. They, they left the O out. Uh, but you can check on there because sometimes they're hot on eBay and then they leave eBay after a while and then they migrate onto that Amazon and or to their AliExpress site. And don't forget White Mountain Knives. I just had a guy email me the other day going, oh, I grabbed a couple off of there. They got a new batch. So check them out because that's USA immediate shipping. I mean, you'll have it in two or three days and 10% off, no shipping charge and no tax. So think about it because when you buy it on eBay, you pay in tax, buddy. Uh, so, but this one I like. Oh, Max, 14C28N. Look at this. Yeah. And one guy's like, why didn't they sharpen the backside? Come on, man. <laughs> look at what I'm doing with my finger. Uh, look at how you're going to carry this knife. No, no, you don't want it sharp. But if you want to, knock yourself out. Here, they, they started it out for you, so give it a shot if you want to. It's a good size knife, though, isn't it? Let me let me throw a tape on this dog. I like it. I like it. I, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it and if I can ever get my damn tape measure on there. Ooh, baby, we are over three and three quarter inches, so we're we're coming up on a hundred millimeters. I mean, 98, 99 millimeters. We got ninety. We got three and a half inch cutting edge. Um, well, eight point three five overall length, which is twenty one and a half centimeters, but that's not that long a handle considering the blade length or not that long an overall length and you know what we got that all oh i can't touch the tip but it wouldn't it wouldn't have been much for me to be able to do that had they kept going so and the design flows really nicely jumping up here contoured titanium with a whole bunch of milling on it and look at that hardware Mm, mm mm I like it. Look at the cross hatching or whatever that is. Um I had a brown jug it had three of those X's across it. I don't know. What was in that? Uh but look at that backspacer contoured. I like the way they did that. That's cool. Now, can I open it? Oh yeah, like a dream. And you got this choil up here. Well, let me see if it'll cut anything. Damn it. Oh my God! <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, it's, yeah, it's sharp. Yeah, it's sharp. Oh wow, wowie wow. Okay, never mind. Class dismissed. You can go home. We ain't fooling with that, are we? That is sharp. That's one of the sharpest knives I pulled paper on. Um, man, so that's good. Dang. Well, I guess I don't have to touch that up or do nothing to it. Uh, 3.6 millimeter thick blade, 0.14. Okay, 0.14. Oh, 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 fatten up, fatten up. 0.61 at the widest. I mean, it's a lot of contour there, but out to the wide part, 15.5 millimeters. So, handful. Yay, buddy. Um... Climb forward, yeah, almost, almost stroke down on that. No, 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 no love bites. Um, yeah, you can do that too, but this is comfortable. Ooh, it, just the blade just tells you something, doesn't it? It's like, yeah, um, yeah, this could be like self-defense or, you know, that kind of thing as well. 
And nice, I'm not big on handles that winnow away at the end, but this one's long enough and actually it, it works pretty well. I almost hate to admit it, but it does. Max does a good job with his designs. Drop right there. It's centered. Blade play lock rock, huh? What do you think? Bet you a hundred bucks. Nope, not at all. None. And ooh, 35? 35, 40%? Yes, Clarice. I had his liver with some barber beans and a nice Chianti. <laughs> yeah, baby. Ooh, that just looks so deadly, doesn't it? it uh, it's a lot of fun. Okay, let's get the scale out. <laughs> Quit trying to imagine. Uh, but yeah, it's just a cool looking knife. Um, the more I've kind of had my hands on it, the more I like it. 125 grams and roll back around. And of course, as soon as this comes out, they probably won't be on eBay. Probably can't buy them for love or their money. 4.4 ounces. And that's my fault because I should have been on this weeks ago. But yeah, this is really cool. I'm sure they'll roll out into the I'm I I think they I think they're on the AliExpress store. So they shouldn't be difficult to obtain right now. Uh inside, yeah, it looks weight relieved. And we'll take this puppy apart. Didn't do a whole lot with the pivot, did they? Huh, okay. No, not a whole lot there. But uh plunge looks I mean the plunge looks pretty symmetrical i mean tucson what what can you say about these people they're insane they i mean if you've never tried one of their knives i mean you're you're not helping yourself out at all you need to you need to i mean I, god i get emails from guys going oh my god i've got to fix my tucson addiction they come out with so many different designs from so many talented knife designers uh both there i mean they got usa guys they got matt szymanski up in minnesota i'm sure he's having a wonderful winter up there and uh you know sean tepe designs out in the frisco area and just all kinds of guys and then you know the test designs and there's been all kinds of some usa and then some from asia and and of course max ukraine you know, so you've got international host of people. That's pretty deep carry, isn't it? Pretty deep carry right there. And it just, you know, goes along. But right hand deep carry, you know, right hand tip up only. Ain't no lefty on there. Got a lanyard hole, though. How about that, folks? Good looking knife. And, yeah, it is a handful because of that six tenths out here. Um... This is easy to, to disengage here. So this is easy. Drop. And of course, it's over the detent ball qu quickly. See? As soon as this flipper tab hits my thumb, it's it's over it. So now you can just fidget. I mean, this, this is fidget friendly. Fidget friendly. Nice. Um, the detent is spot on of what I would need it to be. Jim flipper tab. Okay. Fail. No, who couldn't fail it? Hold on, come on, don't do this to me. Ooh, okay, I failed it. Congratulations. Um, yeah, because that's not easy to fail, and it's a lazy, easy flip to kick it open. So that's nice. Let me see if I could slam it open. Okay, yeah, I can, but it's... It's like a 4.8. It's right in there with most flippers and where they need to be, actually. Whew. But that's some blade there. That's damn near four inches. That's a good size knife for a Tucson, isn't it? I mean, it's a good size knife for anything. So, but not all that heavy. And then, of course, like I said, design flow. Ergos are nice. Reverse grip is good, and woo, yeah, we're way out here. There's there's plenty of room for a good size hand on here, as well. So, it looks proportional. Nice. 
Is it going to come out of here, you know, just doing normal things? Ooh, you're going to have to, you're going to have to slap it awful hard to do that. Oh, man. Fit and finish is good. I mean, it's first rate on these suckers. You take it apart, you really start appreciating this knife here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take it apart because we're going to appreciate some more. Come here, Mr. Dirt Rag. <laughs> we got any murder victims in here? No, that's just that's just Threadlocker or something got on there. And give me one of these. So we got number eight all the way. Yes, we do. And let me see. Where am I going to roll it out of? Well, I'm turning the pivot, but I can just put my finger on there and stop it. So... That will give us uh, interesting. Oh, and it looks like there's the screw on the back side. So we're gonna we're gonna take it apart from the back side. Okay. There that comes out. So hopefully they didn't put a lot of thread locker in there. Um, obviously they didn't in the pivot. Let's break this out. Oh, that's okay. Not a problem. Okay. Next. Drop that down. Uh, I wonder... No, I don't have to take the pocket clip. That's not going anywhere. It's not leading to anything. Okay. Those the same size? Hell yeah. Okay. Now what's this going to be? Is this going to fall apart? Come on, fall apart on me. Oh, now you did. Okay. Ceramic... Uh, Bearings on the pivot. Yes, they've weight relieved. Hardened steel insert. Ceramic detent ball. And there's back uh, to the pocket clip here. So it looks good. There's your stop, you know. Bearings. And then, of course, you got washers. Right there, steel washer. Let's check the blade. What do you think? Which side's got the... D ah, there we go. Well, son of a gun. This must be about the first Tucson knife that I have never seen. Hold on. Well, look at this side right there. Okay, then look at this side right there. They kind of... They did kind of hit this a little bit machine-wise, didn't they? But it doesn't have a detent ramp necessarily, but kind of rounded it off on this side because that I don't notice any problem with the action, that's for sure. And it's pretty clean inside. So let's take a look at the uh, presentation side. And it's weight relieved as well. And yeah, we got a round pivot. Hmm, that's too bad. I prefer a D-shaped one, but... I mean, as long as you've got access to both sides um, with your number eight, then you can break it apart if it needs that. And it didn't need it for me, so it was easy anyhow. Just put a finger there to stop the, the one on the other side from turning. And that's it, folks. That's, that's, that's pretty clean. Well, let's put this crazy thing back together, and that shouldn't be too difficult. These are not big old wide bearing rings, are they? They're pretty small. And did we get a drop? Yes, we did. Okay, throw this down. Oh, where's our stop? There it is over here. Let's put the stop down in here first. We got plenty of good depth to stick that into so it'll stay put while we reassemble. And you can see how the stop works both ways open and closed more bearings and uh, then that's it then just slap the top on and it's a round pivot so we don't have to fit a D shape into the opposing side or anything so we're good and you got the pivot screw which doesn't look much different than the body screws yeah, but that's just the way it is. Hold on, let me push this. Okay. I'm 
Okay. Pull it together and she's centered right up. And these two screws are the same size, so let's kick them in. It's uh, easy on these because there's the hardware's so nice. I wish all knives were this easy. Oh, threw that one out on the table, didn't I? There you go. And here we go. Good. Looks centered. Let's see if we got any play. Nope, no play. Well, what's the drop like? We should just give it a little bit of a back off. Okay. Can we do that? Okay. Much easier. Much nicer. Yeah. I like it. Came back together just fine. Whew. All right. Um, I like it. I like it. You know, it took me a while to get it at first. When it first came out. I had kind of blown my cash and everything, so I had to wait uh, for a while, but I came back around. I just kept looking at the design going, yeah, I think I got to put my hands on it. And once I got it, I really liked it. And there's some possibilities here. It's There's a lot of titanium. I mean, you know, you could pimp it. You could do all kinds of things with this. So you could kind of make it yours if you want. But I don't see any problems with just the way it is, to tell you the truth. And of course, in the nice, solid mahogany presentation case. So, uh, hey, they spend their monies on the knife and not on the box. Okay, that's fine with me. I like it real good. And you know what we do. We love them knives. So why don't you guys subscribe to this channel, huh? What's going on with that? And... Think about it. It does help out a lot. And you guys, stay sharp.